performer, down 27% from the start of this year. But moving on to an outperformer then, Hero Motor Corp up 28% this year, in fact, ended at the high point of the day on Friday as well. Reporting numbers today, Sonia is here with the key expectations. Morning, Sonia. What to expect? Hi, Mangalam. Good morning. Well, you know, it's been a rather subdued or lackluster quarter for the entire two-wheeler sector in terms of volume growth. Even for Hero Motor Corp, it's been just a single-digit volume growth of 6% that they've seen, barring the scooter segment where they had a couple of new launches uh, like the uh, Maestro Duet and a couple of others. Uh, barring the scooter segment, the motorcycle segment has actually not done very well. So on the top line, we're expecting a growth of almost about 10 odd percent. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the number that you can expect this time is around 7,660 crores. However, uh, on the margin front, uh, the margins could improve about 80 basis points year on year. We are forecasting a number of 15.8% as per our poll compared to 15% that they did same time last year. Now, a couple of reasons why the margins could expand this quarter. One is there was a price hike of 1% that the company took in the month of May. This will result in the realizations improving about 3.6% year on year, coming in at 43,800 rupees per unit. Apart from that, uh, the product mix has become a bit favorable with a lower share of the earlier scooters. So apart from the new launches in the scooter segment, the scooters overall volumes have not been that great. So the product mix has improved in favor of that because scooters are a low margin product. Um, the ad spends also have reduced so they will moderate compared to what they saw last quarter because they had new launches last quarter the ad spends were higher so quarter on quarter ad spends will moderate and we are expecting an expansion of the gross margins. The good part is gross margins have expanded from 27% in Q1 of FY15 to 34% in Q4 of FY16 and there is an expectation that gross margins could expand further. However, going forward, a quarter-on-quarter -quarter spike in raw material costs, especially steel and rubber, could keep the margin uh, you know, capped, upside capped in the near term. So all in all, expect a revenue growth of 10%, an EBITDA growth of around 16 odd percent and margins around 16%. Anything less than 16% margins could disappoint the street. Back to you.